Dave, you are an author and I have two of your books. One of the is HR from Outside In, which I recommend this every HR person to read. And the other one is the Leadership Code for Every Leader. That's another great uh, book that I recommend. And last year, you also uh, published a new book called Reinventing the Organization, How Companies Can Deliver Radically Value in the Fast Change Market. And I believe we are now in a very fast market. So what can you tell us more about the book? You know, it's really interesting. We did research and it's an interesting test as, a, as an employee looking for a job that will affect the way I think. One is you can have great people. These are my five fingers of people. The other is you can have a great organization, the right culture, the right system. Which of those two things, the people and talent or the organization culture has the most impact on business success. We did a study, we had 1,200 businesses, 30,000 people. Here's what we found. The organization had four times the impact, four times. And so what we're looking at in the world today is not just a war for talent, but a victory through the organization. And that's the title of one of our books is, how do you build an organization that wins? And in this changing, uncertain world, organization is not hierarchy. It's not the roles or the rules. The books on my shelf talk about responsibility and job description. The organization has to be beyond agile. Yes. We did the book and we found a case study that was really powerful. A few years ago, a woman is on a beach, happens to be in the United States, with her two sons, eight and ten, and her mother. The boys go in the water. They get caught in a riptide. Mihir, have you ever been in a riptide? I've not been in a riptide. No, I haven't been. I have not been in a riptide. But I've asked people, what's it like? Even good swimmers, and they're scared. Big riptide. The mother jumps in, she's in the riptide. The grandmother jumps in. Four or five people from the beach jump in. And now all of a sudden, you've got eight or nine people in a riptide being pulled out in the ocean. Wow. Within two minutes, 80 people join arms. Mm. They form a human chain. Yes. And on the sand they're standing as they get into deeper water, they have surfboards and boogie boards and they save those eight people. Wow. What a cool story. It yeah. still gives me goosebumps to think how that is. You know, Michael Phelps, the greatest swimmer in history, he couldn't have saved those people. Take a level up in abstraction. They created an organization by joining arms. The 80 people joined together quickly, agilely, and formed an organization that won. And then they disbanded. So Arthur Young, who's the real thought leader on this book and the co-author, author, Arthur Young, Y-E-U-N-G, we wanted to say, can big organizations scale that same logic? And we discovered some that did. From China, Alibaba, Tencent, Huawei, mm -hmm. Hire. In the United States, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Supercell in Europe. So we looked at those organizations and found what does it take to create an organization at scale, big company, mm -hmm. with that incredible sense of movement and agility. And the book lays out a set of ideas and tools. What does that mean for an employee looking for a job? If you're going into a company looking for a job, mm -hmm. make sure that you demonstrate the agility that the company must have. Because today, whatever you hire for today, the standards for today, we talked about in a tip on yesterday or the day before, those standards will change. Yes. Companies want to hire what's called learning agility. Mm. Make sure your employer, potential employer, recognizes your learning agility. That's a great tip. Uh, thank you for sharing that. And as I mentioned, those two books I recommend for every HR people to read and even the new ones. Thank you for sharing that. And tune in tomorrow for my final question with Dave.